Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll learn about the minimum fillet weld size based on the base metal thickness. Base metal thickness. So, as per ASME AWS D1.1, AWS D1.1, 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 table number, table, 7.7 .7. so as in aws d1.1 table 7.7 .7, they have given the minimum fillet weld size as per the base metal thickness so aws d1.1 is a code for structure so what is there in this table let's learn so according to table 7.7 .7, if the base metal thickness is less than 6 mm, suppose T is the base metal thickness and if it is less than or equal to less than or equal to 6 mm, then the minimum fillet weld size will be 3 mm. So this is the thickness of the base metal. This is the thickness, thickness of base metal and this is the fillet weld size. I'll simply write it as size or weld size, fillet weld size. So there may be one question that this 3 mm is throat or leg length. Like if this is your fillet weld, I'll draw the fillet weld. Then the distance from the root to the toe is called as leg length and it is denoted by Z, Z or leg length. And the distance from the root to the face of the world is called as the throat. And it is denoted as, as A. So this is the throat. Now, the weld size which is mentioned in AWS D1.1 is the leg length. Means if the base metal thickness is less than or equal to 6 mm, then the leg length will be 3 mm. Now there is one exception. If suppose the structure is subjected to cyclic loading, then the base metal, uh, then the weld thickness will be, sorry, leg length will be 5 mm. So in case if it is cyclic loading. Now, the second condition is if T is more than 6 mm, if T is more than 6 mm, but less than or equal to, but less than or equal to 12 mm, then in that case, the weld size will be 5 mm. The weld size will be 5 mm. This is the minimum weld size, not maximum. So minimum it should be 5 mm. Then the third case is if thickness is more than 12 mm. If thickness is more than 12 mm, but less than or equal to 20 mm. More than 12 mm, but less than or equal to 20 mm. Then the minimum fillet weld size will be 6 mm. And the last condition is if thickness is greater than 20 mm, if thickness is greater than 20 mm, thickness is more than 20 mm, then the minimum fillet weld size will be 8 mm. So there are four conditions. If thickness is less than or equal to 6 mm, then the required weld size will be 3 mm minimum. If thickness is more than 6 mm and equal to or less than 12 mm, then the required leg size, leg length will be 5 mm. If thickness is more than 12 mm and less than or equal to 20 mm then the required weld size will be 6 mm and finally if thickness is more than 20 mm then the weld size minimum required weld size will be 8 mm so this is how they have given in aws d1.1 now as i told you that this weld size is nothing but the leg length now if you have leg length then how you can calculate the throat suppose uh, 8 mm is your leg length if leg length is leg length is 8 mm and you have to calculate the throat then formula is a equal to 0 0.707 into z a is throat a is the throat and z is the leg length so if 
leg length is given then you can calculate the throat another formula is also there if suppose leg throat is given then if throat is given then you can also calculate leg like if throat is given and if you have to calculate the leg leg that is z so z is equal to 1.414 into a so we have both the formulas if you know the leg length then you can calculate throat by multiplying it from 0 0.707 and if you know the throat you can calculate the leg length by multiplying the leg, uh, throat into 1.414 so this is how you can calculate leg and throat friends i hope you like this video thank you very much